almost unbelievable that it is 20 years, but it, Euro NCAP started coming out of us discovering when we were looking at improving safety in Formula One, finding that uh, nothing had been done in Europe. We thought, let's ask the governments, because they must be doing a massive amount of work on road safety of road cars, and surely we can learn something from them. We found that nothing had happened since 1974. So that started a movement within the EU to get the regulations up. More than that, it prompted us to start Euro NCAP. Euro NCAP is uh, very, very important. When you look to the 20 years, they save more than 78,000 lives in that period. The most important achievements of Euro NCAP are that we, from uh, 20 years ago until now, have looked at the technology that's available on the market and really tried to uh, test that technology to make sure that it meets best practice requirements and inform the consumer that these technologies are available, that they can really help to improve safety in the real world. You've probably heard a lot about improved car safety. Well, here's the absolute proof of what a huge improvement there's been uh, in crash protection in regular cars in Europe. This is a Ford Fiesta from 1998. We've got a 20-year plus model here. This is the latest Ford Fiesta. The two cars crashed together at 40 miles an hour, 64 kilometers an hour, and the results are spectacularly different. This car, the body shell has collapsed. The occupant area has caved in on the driver the risk of fatal and serious injury is extremely high. This car, the body shell is intact. All the airbags have gone off perfectly. There's just a crack in the windscreen. This is an entirely survivable crash. This one, a fatal crash. This is all the result of improved crash test standards that came into force in 1998 across the EU. And we've seen benefit after benefit, year after year, tens of thousands of people have survived these kind of crashes because of these EU crash test standards. If we think about it, 20 years ago car safety was very basic, so if you had a car crash, chances were that you were not going to get out of the car alive. So that has been a very short time span. Now we get four and five star cars and we don't even think about it. It's the norm in Europe. As the FI Foundation we are very pleased to have been able to contribute to that in the beginning and we congratulate of course the, the Eurancap for their magnificent work. They are a, a great inspiration for new emergent NCAP programs who will want to achieve the same results and we look forward of course to the work in the future and their mission to achieve zero fatalities on the road. Of course, when we started NCAP, there was great opposition from the industry. The conventional wisdom then was that safety doesn't sell. Performance, colour, all these things sold, but not safety. Now that, has, experience has shown that that's not so. In fact, it's a win-win situation for everybody. The consumer is safer, but the manufacturer has another sale point. So from every point of view, uh, it's the right thing, and we shouldn't have to fight like we did in the early days in the mid-90s when we started Euro NCAP. What drives Euro NCAP is that there are still 25,000 people killed on the European roads every year. And we know that car safety is an important factor in driving down that number. Alongside safer roads and safer drivers, car safety is the key element to bring down uh, the road safety fatality number in Europe. So Euro NCAP is looking at all safety critical uh, equipment that is available on the market. We have seen that in the past through uh, uh, stability control system or automatic emergency braking, but now we, have, we see more and more and the role of Euro NCAP will be to make the consumer confident in the product itself. The vehicle is a very important part of the system. Having now in place global and then regional NCAPs is an extremely important development which now allows us to evaluate the safety of cars. This is going to give consumers and policymakers the information they need to decide on what needs to be addressed in making cars safer. 
we got the advantage now compared to when we started that the industry are increasingly behind the whole thing. So I think we're going to see massive improvements in car safety, but also not just in the safety of the cars, but also in their ability to avoid accidents and keep out of trouble. So I'm very optimistic about the future.